that he's asking for the punishment of Allah to descend upon him. And it is so possible that he may be from amongst those who wake up in the morning and find that the punishment of Allah has descended upon them and they have been transformed into monkeys and pigs. It is so possible that he may be from amongst those for whom the earth will open up and the earth will swallow. It is so possible that he may be from amongst those on whom Allah will send rains of stone just as he sent upon the people of Lut alayhi salam. It is so possible that he may be from amongst those on whom Allah will send the wind that destroy the earth because our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam said and the words of Rasulullah can never be wrong. He said, يَبِيتُ قَوْمٌ مِنْ هَذِي الْأُمَّةِ أَلَا طَعْمٍ وَشُرْبٍ وَلَهْوٍ وَلَعِبٍ فَيُسْبِهُ قَدْ مُسِهُ كِرَدَةٌ وَخَنَازِيرٌ just like Abdullah is chilling in the latter part of the hours of the night, Nabi Karim is saying, there will be people from my ummah who will be chilling in the latter part of the night. They will be drinking, they will be dancing, they will be taking intoxicants, they will be amusing themselves. When all of a sudden in the morning, they will find that the punishment of Allah has descended upon them and they will be transformed into monkeys and pigs. They are the ones for whom the earth will open and the earth will swallow. And people will say in the morning that this morning the earth has swallowed such and such a person. They are the people. Yeah, on some of them Allah will send rain of stones just as he sent upon the people of Lut. On some of them Allah will send the wind that destroy the earth. And why? Nabi Karim sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, بِشُرْبِهِمُ الْخَمَرِ وَلُبْسِهِمُ الْحَرِيرِ وَإِتِّخَاذِهِمُ الْكَيْنَاتِ وَأَكْلِهِمُ الْرِبَى Because in the dunya, they the ones that will spend the Friday night taking intoxicants, taking dope, snowing co cocaine, chasing the dragon in heroin. They are the ones that used to listen to the music and music and dancing women. They are the ones that would wear silk, which is forbidden. They are the ones that would take soothe. He is now in such a position that he is asking for the punishment of Allah. And at the same time, he is ask, asking for a bad death. Because the great Jalaluddin Siyuti rahmatullahi in his work, Sharh al-Sudur fi Ahwal al-Mawta wal-Kabur has written, there are four causes of a bad death. And one of the causes is that a person who takes intoxicant, he will leave this world in a bad state. Abdullah is on that dance floor. He does not know the consequence of this action. He's there ripping that dance floor in a manner that has, that has never been performed before. His friends are there and they're all egging him on. They're all clapping. They're all whistling, whistling as Abdullah is dancing. There's nothing that can stop Abdullah today. The, the, the guy is only 18 years of age, 20 years of age. Amin is only 21 years of age. You don't die at the age of 18. Come on. If I were to say to you that you're going to die, die at the age of 18, you're going to say this guy's a psycho. This guy's an idiot. People die at the age of 65, 70. Abdullah's not going to die. You're not going to die. People don't die. There's no such thing as death at this young age. And this is what Abdullah is thinking on the dance floor. And the guy's moving like the wind, you know. He's doing the moves. He's doing the curls. And his mates are egging him on. The guy's on seventh heaven. He's electrified. He's kicking. He's buzzing. He's moving. And when all of a sudden on that dance floor, knock, knock. What's happened here? Knock, knock. The guy's on the dance floor. Knock, knock. Abdullah, go on. Open the door. There's somebody knocking on your door. You know, even though he's intoxicated on the seventh heaven, Abdullah's now frozen. On the dance floor, he's frozen. And his friends are there clapping and egging, egging him on. And all of a sudden they see, you know what? He stopped. Why is he stopped? The guy is not moving an inch. The same guy, a billions of seconds before that was electrified and you know, and doing the moves. And now the guy's frozen. His arms, his legs are not moving an inch and his eyes are not moving an inch. Knock, knock. Abdullah doesn't want to open the door. Allow me to open it for you. The veil is now lifted. The veil is now lifted. And it's the unpredictable. And it's the unthinkable. The thing 
that could not happen, that he could not even imagine, is now happening. He's bewildered, he's gobsmacked, he's dumbfounded. And the guy is frozen on that dance floor. What do you think it is, guys? Let me tell you what it is. Or let me tell you who it is. This is the DJ AOD. The DJ AOD. This guy, if I can call him guy, you will never hear a mix better than his. He is the guy with the evilest mix in the entire universe. And he's come to give him a shake. You know, the guy was loving all these different mixes and he was moving to the beats and to the tunes and he's got the DJ AOD standing right in front of him. Right in front of him, the angel of death is standing there right in front of him. And now he's panicking. That's why he's frozen. He knows. All of a sudden, you know, even the guy that didn't practice before, when he sees AOD, believe me, he will come to his senses. And the angel's standing there with a mace. And he gives him his mix. And he will strike the fork. And it will penetrate inside his body. The forks of the mace will penetrate inside his every limb. Can you imagine a thorn bush which has hundreds and thousands of thorns, a rose bush with hundreds and thousands of little uh, thorns. And if that was placed inside your body and each thorn in every vein of your body and then somebody was to pull this thorn while it is attached to every limb in your body. You know the human mind cannot even comprehend such pain. And the angel will strike him with this mace. And the forks will pierce his body. And the angel will extract his soul. And it will begin from the feet. And it will stop at the ankle. And then they will give him a beating. And then the angel will extract his soul from his ankle to his knees and then stop there so he feels more pain and then give him another beating and then the angel will take out his soul from his knees to his thighs and give him a beating and then from his thighs to his chest and give him a beating and finally the angel will say to him you wanted a go, you wanted a club. Come on, let me take you to a club. Come out, O oh, cursed soul, to a place of scalding water, of hot air, shadows of black smoke, which is no cool and no refreshing. And the angel will take his soul. And you know what? Abdullah's gone in such a state that his iman was above his head. He went. You know, this doesn't happen, does it? I'm just talking Jack and Norris. This is just a fairy tale. Believe me, you know what? The day you're on that thing and the day you're intoxicated and your iman's above your head and the AOD is standing before you, you know what? You'll say, this Molana wasn't telling Jack and Norris. He was telling us the reality. He was telling us the reality. How many of our sons and daughters have gone and left this world in such a condition in which they were intoxicated. Whether they were stoned out of their heads as a result of, intox of, 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 of alcohol, or whether they stoned out of their heads as a result of dope, whatever it may be. How many sons and daughters that this ummah has lost, that left, that their children have left the world in this state? Now Abdullah has gone and left the world in this state, and now this is where the party begins. The angel has taken his soul, the first thing that begins to rejoice, The earth begins to curse him. And the earth begins to rejoice, I thank you a million times.